Well, good day, drivers. Welcome back to American Truck Sim, and we're doing a bit of Texas here, of course. Not a lot of people playing for some reason. I was like the whole entire server. There's only like 203 people playing. I mean, that's pretty low for a big state like Texas to be uh, to be out. But uh, anywho, <laughs> we are currently in El Paso-ish area right now. We're going to see what's available. Maybe we can head. Uh, East somewhere, see what's available. Well, it's going the wrong way. It's sort of going, going to Austin. Uh, let's see if we can get anything further. Ooh, that's a good one. What is that? Empty pallets? That might work. Or even that one. That one's going the other way. That one's going the other way. That one's going the other way. The other way and the other way. Well, we got a couple going there. What do we want to do here? That's 31, 34. A little lighter, a little heavier. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, let's let's do the pallets. Why not? That's about the same. It's about twelve hundred. It's a little bit further, but that's okay. All right. I don't know what time it is in the game. It's probably middle of the night. No, my luck. Let's see here. Uh, Eleven twenty-four. Of course it is. <laughs> Ready to roll. All right, so we own this shop here. Well, it'll be getting bright for us as we're heading over that way anyway, so that's good. All right, well, I got a fuel, full fuel tank, so we're good there. We'll grab our load here. Turn the mirrors on. I am on Trucker's MP today. I just didn't really feel like fighting a whole lot of traffic you know what I mean so turn left this is a little bit of a weird station right. here it's uh or um where uh, warehouse <laughs> headquarters it's a little bit weird this one it's kind of buried in behind a service station which is different I guess fuel station sleeping station turn right Just gonna go through stop lines, stop stoplights lights and stuff. And then turn left. I would play more legit if it was on like uh, single left. player, where you pretty much got to stop for cars and stuff. Whoa, missed my turn. Oh, that come up a lot faster. I thought it did. <laughs> Didn't crash. We're good. It's a weird little thing there. Gets you onto the highway, but this is like a service road here, I guess. Oh, it could have come back on here. That's different, isn't it? Stay right, huh? And then turn right. Little things like that, you'd be like, oh, I need to like like point one percent. Why can't I get this last one? Turn right. Oh, forgot I changed my brake. <laughs> Trying Stay the brake on the clutch pedal on my set left. of pedals here, just just for something different. Turn left. Driveway here somewhere. It's not too well lit up at night, this one. Turn right. Finally, we are here. All right, let's see here. Freight should have used my own trailer, I guess, but that's okay. That one's just a short one. Yeah, we'll take that one there. It looks like we got to go through a couple little cities we don't have here, so that's good. All right, where she be? Probably right in the dock here somewhere. Looks like it's around the back here. Does that actually go around here somewhere? It says exit. It's awful dark through here. Oh, there's a dock. Oh, look, it's open, too. That's cool. You can see right through. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Look at that. A whole bunch of empty skids. Or pallets, whatever you wish. Do 
See, I'm using my clutch pedal because it's just a bit easier on my foot to push. And uh, not really using the brakes, so I'll probably have some problems where I'm like, ah, crap. Time to hit the road. So then keep using my left, my right foot for gas and brake, and then I don't really need to now. All right, 12, 26. Hopefully we can get out this way. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Could be a way to get out Turn here, but left. they won't let us get out here. We'll have to go this way. That's all right. Go straight. Turn right. So we should get this little chunk of road here. That potentially might not be down here again. You never know, but rerouting. Just to say we did. Please make a U-turn when possible. Nah, I'm not gonna go in there though. That's okay. I like how you can use this map now for this. Tab will go out more. Go right here and then up. I guess this is a one way, right? Some kind of turnaround thing here or something, I'm guessing. Stay left and then exit left. Interesting. Exit oh, yeah. left. Look at this. Kind of weird turnaround thing. Tight turnaround thing. Well, that's kind of different, anyways. Seems to work pretty good, though. Stay left, and then exit left. Exit left. Oh, we're just past midnight. Stay left. Oh, we got our load of skids. That's good. Not way too much. Not too bad, anyways. Happens that way. I always come in game and it's like middle of the night. <laughs> it's super dark. A little sleep and rest area. Picnic area. Stay left. Try to get her about one twenty, maybe. Exit three quarter mile wind flashing. Well, it's not flashing, so we're good. 
to me. Oh, what the heck was that? Truck just farted something. There, it looks like it's closed down. Oh, it's an inspection station, I guess. Golf course drive. Slow down, you're already in Texas. I like that sign, that was good. Stay left. <laughs> Smarties, aren't they? Oh man. Smarty Smarties. Boy, there's a pile of roads here to go on. Holy pile of roads. Some different places too, like that's Nelson and something uh suma i think that's probably a car place maybe i don't know that's kind of cool rv park that's cool exit now Ooh, okay right here no i'm just kidding rv park Super dark. It's only 12:30. Oh my goodness! Well, I should have stalled a bit first, maybe, and then let the daylight come a bit more. Because man, it takes forever to get through night on this. It seems very slow. I'd like to see some of the scenery. Maybe I will pull over next. Thing here, I'll pull over and let some time go through. Get back to a little bit brighter. What do we got coming up? Anything? Uh, whoa. There's a rest stop and something up here. Ooh, stay on the road. <laughs> it's like texting and driving, looking at the map and driving. to, uh, yes, see, slow down, you're already in Texas. Uh, nice to see some of the scenery and feel kind of bad driving here, we can't see nothing. It's probably going to happen, though, if I stop and pull over, it's going to boot me out of the online here, so. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the only problem. Stay left. No, we got to get off here, I think. to about 5 a.m. I think maybe I'll take off again then, but I'll, I'll pull over here and uh, let the time zip through here. Because you want to see the scenery, and so do I. That's the point of driving here, to see some nice scenery. The guys and I did a run the other night, too, and uh, I think we went over a nice huge bridge, and it was totally black out like this. You couldn't see anything, so I kind of miss that, but can you do, eh? And then we'll pull off up here, have a little break, a little rest, a sleep. Sleep area there. There's one here. 
here too though. We'll just pull in the station here. Let her go through and uh, see in four hours. <laughs> My time, your time will be instant though. Go straight. That's okay, we'll okay. figure it out here. Let's find a new route. We actually like a hotel or something there too. Nice. Let's we'll park over here somewhere in the way. Are we out of the spot? Yeah, we're pretty good there. Alright, we'll be back when. It's early morning. All right, day is breaking and lucky us, we had a rainstorm through the night and it has cleared up now. That is good. Well, let's head her back out. Got to figure out how to get out of here now. I guess we got to go way around. Should be gas pumps here or something. I'd go out here, I guess. Pumps there. We're still pretty good for fuel, so we'll just keep on motoring. Rerouting. Yeah, we had a big rainstorm come through, and uh, she's all cleared up now, which is good. Stay right, then turn right. Turn right. Nine fifteen left, not too bad. We still got to get there by three eighteen Monday. It's quarter to six Monday a.m., so should be in lots of time. I think this is still the service road here. Above on the top of the roof of the truck view, it's not too bad up here. Some oil derricks there beside us. Lots of oil in Texas. Oh, vehicle inspection, eh? Okay. Those I'll stop for. Nine thousand forty six pounds, not too bad. I 
put the uh, front hood mirror, round mirrors on there, and the convex mirrors. Just, uh, I don't know, just because. Kind of that on the, the front visor, too, but I think I might take that visor back off. Makes the truck look pretty cool from the outside, but you lose a bit of visual on the road there, right? It's, that's not a big deal, but... This is quite the road interchange coming up here. Wow, we. Wow, look at them all. All over the place here. We got a loot stay on our side. We just got to stay right in the middle here. I think. Lots of roads in there. That's probably like. 15% of the road right there. No, it should be a lot more than that. That's for sure. It's a huge state, this one. I don't know. When we get over here, we're going to have to to map and see how far... Oh, there is a truck place here, too. We should probably grab it. Ah, I can grab them off the, the menu. I don't have to get them all stopping at them. Yeah, we should see how far the uh, trip is from the one side of the bottom side of Texas all the way up to, like... Uh, Port Angeles or whatever that is, way at the very top left of the screen of the map there. Long, long way, I bet. Definitely heading east. The sun's coming up there, that's for sure. It's kind of nice to see that, though. Big repair place and stuff in there. There's the truck headquarters there. Very nice. It's good they've added some new places, too. Oh, pardon me. Uh, it's good they've added a bunch of new places to you to deliver stuff to. That's kind of neat. The guys and I actually we went for another little tour the other night. We went to this car place, like a car manufacturer plant, like a big Toyota plant, we'll say. Picked up some, looks like Mustangs and some, some kind of pickup truck, too, on the carrier. So it was kind of neat. San Angelo. Right into the sun, eh? Some neat walls here coming on through here that they uh, I've seen in a few places around Texas here. That's probably bedrock they've had to dig through and stuff, you know, and put the road through. Probably a viewpoint there, that question mark, I would imagine. Ooh, that's hard to see. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> that's really hard to see where the road was. The sun's right in our eyes now. Six hundred and sixty kilometers left coming up for 
popping them off pretty quick here, which is good. Got the rumble strips on the side here, isn't there? Very rumbly. Supposed to wake you up. You have to drift over, you'll be like. Oh, what the heck was that noise? Oh yeah, I'm drifting off. Stink Creek Road. <laughs> That's a different name, isn't it? Stink Creek. Huh. Who'd have thought? More service roads. They seem to use them a lot. Instead of just coming right back on the highway, they seem to run roads up along the side, too, there. Nothing. Yeah, it's all new road here for us. I haven't discovered this at all here yet. So I haven't been to this side of Texas. She's a pretty big state though. Ooh, boy. town and other headquarters here. I'm uh, not going to bother going in and getting them, I don't think. Do need to build up some more funds, so I guess I could. Uh, I've got a few more garages that we've discovered passing by them, like right by them that we got. Should uh, fill them with drivers and uh, trucks, I guess. Whoa, left, oh, sorry. Uh, yes, this is a little bit of a... No, this isn't too bad, this one. Stay left. I don't think we even got... No, we didn't get booted off. I, I kept going in every couple of minutes and moving my truck a little bit, then that keeps it from getting boot, booted off. Doesn't think you're away from keyboard then, while we were waiting for the day to come. So that worked out pretty good. to get in and do some more of the heavy haul stuff with my big trailer. Let's see if we can pick that up somewhere down here. I'm sure there's uh, headquarters down here somewhere we'll get. I know there's some towns we go right through, but I don't know if the headquarters are close to the road or not. But uh, I don't have too many in Texas here yet, so it'd be good to get a f quite a few more if we could. And, and then we could uh, teleport to them too, right? Get the big trailer there. There's another viewpoint there, it looks like. We're gonna go way up over there for that. Oh, discovered it from over here, even. Wow.
rest area coming up. That's good. Get her going 130. Just screaming. Four hundred and thirty we're getting to. Left to go. Well that's good. We're getting there. What a quest that would be now to um, get all the roads discovered, all the roads driven on. Oh man, there's a lot of roads now in this game. Like all the states together, they're not even not even halfway done yet. Pretty sure the plan is to try to get the whole entire United States done, but uh, boy, well, that's going to be uh, a lot of years yet. It's going to be pretty expensive, too, if someone wants to buy all those DLCs, unless they bundle it all up, but this one here was like 28 bucks. Seemed like kind of expensive. But you got to think there's a lot of work, a lot of work that has to go into this. It would be interesting to see how they do it, too, because they must have to do some mapping and kind of scale things to fit into the game, too, right? Oh, there's probably a lot to it, more than you really think. Oh, it's pretty cool how they do it. How they exactly do it, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking anyways. They must look at maps and then rescale it to, you know, game sizes, you know. Just driving across Texas like this, that would probably take us, like, a couple of days, wouldn't it? At least. I don't know, never done it. It's in my bucket and it's on a list, we'll say. Drive across the states. I like to drive into every state in the United States if we kinda eat. I like to actually start Stay right and then turn right. Start where we are here and work our way down and then start, you know, east west, east west, east west till you get down to like Florida right. kind of thing. I think that'd be kinda fun. A lot of driving, but back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know. Kind of neat. So, where? Oh, we're going on to staying on 20 here. Woo! Alright, Michael, we're doing 55 at the moment, fall in line, and then uh, waiting for the rest Ooh. to catch up. Convoy? <laughs> Save travel there, driver. I can't remember what the mic button is now. I haven't played this enough. I forget. I think it's C or V or something down there. If you want. Stay left. The happy truck. Say, child, there go. Holy cow, there's a bunch of people. Big convoy, big, big, big convoy. Wow. Monster. Gotta beep to them, you know. It is kind of nice and friendly. Some people don't bother returning it, but hey, that's all right. I don't mind. I'll still beep. Stay left. Gas station there, and sleep station, and sleep place. Home store. Dallas. Ah, there you go. And Stay left. Wacko, I know it's Waco, but Wacko. <laughs> Wacko. Dallas, Texas. Wow, look at this. 
jumble of roads through here. Wow! <laughs> oh man, you get messed up in there pretty quick. It's pretty neat though. Pretty darn cool. Stay left. Down to 233 now. Getting down to the bottom part of her now, I guess. Houston, Texas. Nice. A lot of familiar names here. Texas has a few uh, fairly familiar cities, city names. Wow, there's another big thing we just went through. Holy smokes. least open that up if you had to turn around. That would have been nice. Now the new Texas State here, I don't know if there's any secret hidden things. Sometimes, you know, they do that kind of stuff. Hidden things you have to... My nephew's good at finding them. I'll have to maybe ask him, but I haven't uh, heard of anything myself anymore. going to do the one drive today because it is such a big state. We'll see uh, next time if we can find something else coming the other way here. Let's see what we can see. Oh, another inspection. Yep. Ooh, stay on my side. CMV, that must be commercial motor vehicle. Which would be us, I guess. Uh, enter. No parking, no parking, no parking. To give you a better room to get going here. A little bit of road you can speed up, right? Just about uh, about half a tank of fuel left too, so we burnt up a little bit on this little trip here. Down to 135 now, so that's good. We're almost there. I think we've done pretty well. Lufkin, 69 miles, I guess that is. 103 kilometers or so. Farmer's Barn. <laughs> I like their names a lot. <laughs> they choose names for stuff. Stay right. Tyler. Then turn right. Brake works good and hit the brakes at all there.
repair up here. That's good. Go straight. We haven't hit anything yet, so we're still good. Good to go. If this was single player, I would stop for all these lights, but I, I'm just going to keep going here. Go straight. I'll get this job done. It's late here at night while I'm shooting this here, so I don't want to just go to bed. <laughs> we'll get her finished here for you. Won't be too much further under that 100K now, so it seems to zip through pretty quick usually. Delivery there at that pick hit place, whatever that is. Something cars here, new car dealership, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of cool. The old Walbert, it's been in the game forever. fly in there look kind of neat. They've done well with those too. The animation. You left the city. Hammer down. Hammer down. Seventy-three kilometers left. It took a while to get through that little city there. Tyler or whatever that was, we just went through, I think it was. Something like that. Flag flying there. They've done really well with that. That animation animation is really good. Win and Lufkin. There's the spot. What's oh, in Lufkin here? I wonder. Is there a? Oh, yeah, there is a. A house. Maybe we'll go grab that after before we say good day and deliver this first. And Monday, we're really close to being on time. Well, actually, that's maybe Stay not right. right. And then turn right. Yeah, it had to be here by Tuesday, so we got lots of time. Tons of time. Turn right. Wall 
Walbert. Long way to take some empty skids. Get ready to turn right. You think they'd want stuff full of skids, stuff, you know, on the skids. Turn right. Unless this is like a warehouse or something. It's kind of weird how we got gates here. Well, this might be like a warehouse. I think it is, actually. Well, that kind of makes some sense, then. All right, my head's just too tired nice for ride. trying to back in here, so I'm not going to attempt that. We'll just do that for now. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, well, let's go and grab this. Um, whoa. Huh. Let's go over here and grab this. Let's go. Here we'll get the rest of this. There we go. Oh, parking lot. This long frame truck though is a little bit harder to turn. It's a little more room. Didn't do too bad on fuel. That wasn't really a heavy load, though. But Shed guy. Shed guy. Turn left. This is where it ends. All right. This is where it ends. Yes, yeah, so we'll buy this garage so we can teleport here if we need to. We'll make it uh, the big garage too so we have fuel here as well. Truck headquarters. Okay, so this should be Lufkin. So we'll go garage manager. Hello, garage manager, please. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's do size small Lufkin. Upgrade. Yes. All right. We should have a fuel station here now, which we do, I believe. Top the tank off at. Let's see, how much do we burn up? Probably about nine hundred dollars worth of fuel. Oh, 
not too bad, 979. It's pretty close. Boy, it would be nice if it was $1.45 a gallon, wouldn't it? <laughs> Way off of that now. But anyways, there we go. That's it. Some more Texas for you. Hopefully you enjoyed. We'll uh, just have a quick look here and see what we've got. Well, it's going to change by the time we get back in. But Wow. Oh, yeah, that's what we were going to do. Let's just check for a load here. Even that would be good. That's going up to Gillette. I haven't discovered Gillette yet. If we could get that one next time. That's a long drive, though. 2200K. Ooh. That's a long one, too. That's a really... there. That's that's probably about our longest trip there. 3,569 kilometers. <laughs> going up to Olympia. Wow. Okay. Anyways. Let's see here now. If we wanted to go... Back to El Paso, San Simon, Yuma, San Diego. That already is 3,500K. Santa Maria, oh, something messed up there. Uh, Carlsbad, let's, something's still messing up here. It's giving me extra route here, I think. Yeah. So what if we just did a Yuma? Okay, so that's 2200K on its own. San Diego. Santa Maria. Yukina. Coos Bay. Go right up the shore here. Ah, that messed up again. Interesting. Why is it doing that? To give me an extra route there. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, that's a long trip now. <laughs> But that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed again. A little more Texas there. Uh, and we'll do some more soon here, hopefully. Get some heavy hauling stuff going. Maybe that'd be all right. Actually, can I... Uh, we're, we're at... Um, Lufkin right now. Can I teleport my trailer to there? Trailer manager... Where's my big feller sliding tarp? Double that guy there. Someone's using it right now. But tech with him. <laughs> oh, can I get it to here though? Relocate, yes we can, to Lufkin. Yes we can. Oh, did I just mess that up? I think it might have. Use it. Okay, so it automatically attaches. Let's see if we're attached here. And yes, we are, I believe. Yes, we are. Oh, that is so hard to get out of here. Uh, um, but anyways, uh, let's see here. Let's do job market. Cargo market. And we'll see. Wow, there you go. 3,800 kilometers. That would probably take us. Oh, man. That would probably take us at least four hours, four and a half hours of driving gameplay to get there, I think. That one's not much closer. $374,000, though. Oh. Wow. Backhoe. Lots of heavy equipment, right? Even something like that would be all right. Go through New Mexico, Arizona. 
There's lots of different stuff to choose from. Just a huge loader bucket. Wow, even that's going a long way. Back, oh, that's far enough. 2200k by that time, man, I'd be dead. <laughs> I don't know if I could drive that far now, honestly. Do something a little shorter, maybe, for next time. Even then, the Texas here. There's a huge tank. That's cool. These all change, of course, by the time we get in again here. They'll be all different loads, but just need to look at some of the different stuff. There's more locally stuff. Well, a little further than that. Ooh, a big rock truck. 77,000 pounds for the loader here. That's still pretty short, but I'd like to stay in Texas and do some more exploring in here. But anyways, next time, thanks again for watching. Catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.